Every night we've been hearing about how neighbors are helping neighbors. Tonight, something good at Che Fico restaurant in San Francisco. Let's bring in the chef and co-owner David Nafelt, who joins us from his restaurant. David, thank you for your time. We understand it's a difficult time for the restaurant business, of course. We, we got caught on to you because you're one of the hottest restaurants in San Francisco. You haven't closed down, but you're serving meals in a different way. Tell us about this. Hey, Raj, thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. Yeah, so, you know, obviously it was, it's a tough time for everybody, and this was an opportunity that fell into our lap to kind of do good while doing well. Uh, one of our investors, Dick Costolo, one of the founders of uh, Twitter, he reached out to me and said, hey, what can I do to help? And I said, honestly, there's nothing to do to help unless we can provide meals to people. And he said, you know what, how about this? I'm going to give you $2,000 a night to provide food to whoever you can, so just find the people. So we announced it on Twitter uh, shortly after one of our other investors, Egon Durbin from Silver Lake Capital, reached out and said, hey, I'm going to match that. And then shortly after that, we had Allison and Dan Rose come in and pledge some money, and we had a few other supporters. So within a matter of 48 hours, we had uh, enough support to do at least 120 to 150 free meals a night. So a meal is enough for two to three people. Uh, right here, what we're doing is we're doing a burrata with marinated beets and a beautiful herb salad. Uh, we're doing lamb with polenta. We also have a vegetarian option. Uh, and then so once word got out that we were doing this, a few of our other friends around the industry decided to start uh, just dropping stuff off for us to give. So we're giving away half bottles of this 75 wine uh, company, Cabernet Sauvignon, to anyone who needs a free meal. We're over here packing all the meals, making sure everybody gets a full meal, including dessert, appetizer, entree. And then one of our other friends from Charles Chocolates decided to drop by a few thousand chocolates as well. So, I mean, these people are getting a uh, pretty gourmet deal. And, you know, I think it all has to do with speaking to the humanity, right? Like, nobody wants to feel like they're a prisoner in their own home. So I think what we're doing here is just providing a little bit of humanity in people's daily lives. Uh, David, i got to say, you're very eloquent in, in how you're saying this. So let me just get this straight now. Uh, many of your investors and then some other people just started donating money and other goods like wine and chocolate. You're assembling and cooking and making these meals. How are people getting them? Are they just coming to Che Fico in San Francisco and picking it up? Are they ordering? What's the process here? So basically, uh, a few days ago, it was just as simple as picking up the phone and calling and then coming and picking it up. And so uh, we started to get so much volume that Dick called us this morning and said, hey, why don't we build a tool to fix this? So we built a website, kfficofamilymeal.com. Uh, uh, and you can go on there and basically schedule your time slot to come pick it up. We're trying to only do about eight meals per 15 minutes, or, or rather eight pickups per 15 minutes, so that way we can practice social distancing. As you can see, all of our team here is trying to keep a certain amount of space from each other. We're working with face masks and gloves to make sure that we're really, really trying our best to kind of follow all of the best practices and protocols. And so what you can do is you can go to that website, and so there's three options. One is... If you need a meal and you just can't afford it right now, get on the list and we have a meal for you. If you are in a good spot and you want to buy your meal, you can just buy a meal. And if you're in a really good spot, you can pay it forward and you can donate to that. And so you can do that through the website. You can also do it through our Venmo, which is at KFICO on Venmo. Uh, you can also email us if you don't have a Venmo and you want to do it through a credit card, which is donate at KFICO. And KFICO is spelled C-H-E-F-I-C-O. We also have a GoFundMe page for all of our hourly employees who are on furlough right now. And the GoFundMe page is KFICO Family at GoFundMe. And that's going to help them get a little bit of relief as well. So we're just trying to do our best and our part. What we do for a living is make food for people. So it's no different than what we're doing every single day. But this is just, uh, you know, this has a little bit of a different twist to it. And one thing that I do want to say is we couldn't do it without all the extra support we've been getting. People have been calling in and buying a meal and then paying one forward. So we really, really do appreciate any any donor, whether it was $50 that, to pay it forward, all the way up to the people who donated $5,000. That is excellent. Thank you for your time. Thank you for what you're doing. I think we speak on behalf of the community there. Uh, and forgive my uh, Italian pronunciation, Kefico, C-H-E-F-I-C-O. Thank you, David Nafield in San Francisco. No We're, worries.